I made it to chapter number four of Fire Emblem Gaiden. Hooray, chapter number four. There are five chapters in all, so I guess I'm about 60% of the way through the game. Maybe a little farther. I don't know if the chapters are, you know, equal in terms of uh, length. In any case, uh, in the previous battle, uh, in the previous video, I leveled up a lot of Celica's party. I didn't level up everyone, but I, I tried leveling up most of them. Now I'm going to give everybody a healing item. Uh, who has lower defense of the Pegasus sisters? Katria. Okay, Katria has lower defense. So Katria is going to get the steel shield because I do not have enough healing items for everyone in our party. Okay, great. So... Now that everybody's got a healing item, we will be able to tackle Celica's portion. I'm starting with Celica, simply because I want to see what my characters look like here after leveling them up. Hopefully they're super good. I, I did not do as much grinding as I probably would have otherwise. You know, if I was playing this game on my own, as opposed to, uh, you know, just playing it on the internet. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, uh, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that, sure. So, uh, you know, earlier today I, I uh, watched all my videos for chapter number three. So, uh, they were kind of long. I noticed it, it took a really long time to get through every battle. Uh, about 15 to 20 minutes longer than it should have, you know, per battle. Because I was really worried about leveling up, especially uh, Celica. Celica, I was worried about leveling up her... Her and Alm, because uh, Celica and Alm are the main characters. And I want them to level up with the Angel Ring, because the Angel Ring uh, basically doubles your level ups. I mean, not only are they the main characters, um, so, you know, if they die, guess what? The battle's automatically over. But it's also the case that they have, uh, you know, only one class change. So, you know, each class has 20 levels. So, because they only have one class change, meaning they only get two classes, they have a total of 40 levels. So they don't get as much chance to level up, as, they don't get as many chances to level up as everybody else. Like as we see with Saber, Saber gets at least 60. Actually, all these characters get 60. Uh, Celica only gets 40. On second thought, I think maybe the Pegasus sisters are also limited. I think they might also be limited to 40. In any case, that's another reason uh, why I was so especially concerned about getting level ups with uh, Celica. Is, uh, you know, doesn't get that many levels, uh, relatively speaking. So, uh, basically what I did was I, I had Celica and Alm basically do solo battles a lot. Where basically they would be, uh, you know, fighting the battle by themselves. So they would they would get all the experience, and that's great for leveling up. By the way, that's really great for leveling up. It's, that's not a bad strategy at all. But it takes forever. Like I said, it takes like 15, 20 minutes extra per per battle. That as a result of me using that strategy. So I'm no longer gonna do that. I'm no longer gonna do that. I don't want this uh, video walkthrough to take forever. So now I'm just gonna have everybody attack in a group and then hope I do not end up in a really bad situation later on as a result. Okay, so that's, that's gonna be my strategy from here on out. That's why everybody got a, a healing item. Uh, everybody's gonna be attacking from here on out. Uh, also, I put, every, I put a healing item on everybody because this orange stuff, you see that orange stuff? That is Swamp Goo. It does about five damage per turn. Five damage per turn. It's very nasty. The healing items will heal uh, about five per turn. So basically, the healing items cancel out the the bad side effects of the swamp goo. So that was another reason. See, everybody's getting attacked by the swamp goo. Fortunately, um, they took no damage because, like I said, they've got healing items on them. Okay. Let's see, uh, let's have Salka attack this enemy here. So I still have the Angel Ring on Salka, so uh, I'm still gonna try to focus on Salka. I'm not gonna like focus exclusively on her like I've been doing in the past, 
But I'm going to try to focus on her, try to give her uh, at least a fair number of level ups. Hopefully she'll reach level 20 by the end of this chapter. And hey, if, if she does end up, uh, you know, reaching level 20, then I'll just switch out the, the angel ring to a different character. Whoever, whoever I think needs good level ups after that. Maybe Kamui. I don't know. I'm gonna leave Katria here for now. I'll move her over next turn. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I could move her up and then left to avoid the swamp goo. There's no need for me to play the, the, the waiting game with the, the swamp goo. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! oh. Gosh. But hey, level up. Power, defense. Hey, good. That's good. And no, I'm not secretly crying to myself because that would have been a great level up with the angel ring. No, no, I'm not secretly crying. Wow, nobody's going after Celica. This is not what I expected at all. Okay, well, maybe... Maybe the gargoyles will go after her. Or they'll go straight after Saber, who... Saber was really great in chapter number two, and then all of a sudden he's not so good. Oh, hey, he got some defense! Yes! Well, I mean, both Saber and Jesse, as you can see, could could use more strength. They need to, they need to be at the point where they could kill these enemies in one turn. Um, not two. So I guess I should have tried leveling them up when I was doing grinding in the previous video. Oh well. Hmm, let's see. I'm just gonna move Est out of the way. She needs an extra turn to heal, that's all. She's not, like, really bad. Okay, good job, Atlas. Atlas, you need defense. Okay, gosh. Okay, none of my characters are as good as I thought they were. I am... I am very sad now. Ooh. Yes. Defense up. Yes. Okay, Saber is slowly getting better. Nice. And Kamui's at the point where she does double attacks on this enemy. I guess this enemy is sort of like a boss, although it's totally not, is it? Okay, Celica, defeat it. Yeah, Celica's still the best member of my party. Okay, okay, and I can move, I can move Katria over like this. That's what I was trying to say, because if I'd moved her just strict left, she would have landed on this square and taken damage. Okay, so let's see what the enemies do here. I think that enemy to the north is the boss, actually. I'll double check. If it's got a name, it, it's the boss. But, oh my gosh, yes, this would have been a great situation for me to have, like, just Celica fight by herself, because she would be able to counterattack these wizards, and gosh, no, why is this a thing? Atlas is a great character. Don't tell me he has to die now. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, one after Est. Who handily defeated it. Wow, way to go, Est. Could all of the gargoyles attack Est, maybe? No, Atlas is dead. Well, darn. As you can see from the title of this video, this is a Newslock playthrough. So one of the rules of Newslock is uh, if a character dies, they die for good. You shouldn't do any, you know, messing around with save states to bring a character back. So I can't, like, reload the game and retry the battle to save Atlas. Atlas is dead for good. That's kind of sad, I really liked him. However, um, good news, now everybody will get to have their own healing item. 
A healing item opened up. Yay! Hmm, extra power on Kamui. Yes. I like that. Yeah, I'll just... I guess we'll just have to presume that Atlas was the weakest character of the bunch, and that's why he was so easily defeated. I'm not sure I believe that. I don't I don't even kind of believe that, actually. That's a lie. Let's defeat these wizards first, shall we? The other enemies are not as bad as these wizards, it looks like. Well, no, the other enemies here are mostly summoned enemies. Yeah, that's, that's like the gargoyles that were summoned. No big deal fighting summoned enemies. They're weaker than normal enemies. Oh, Saber. Let's see, let's have Jesse finish off this enemy. I bet Jesse could get a level up here. Yep. And then Katria, maybe fight this one. I don't know what's, what's gonna be, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Oh, and she can be promoted now that she's level 12. Okay, okay, yeah. I think I mentioned that the, the Pegasus Knights only get one class change too, just like Almond Celica. So that's how the game does it. They, they only class change at level 12. That way you're kind of forced to get uh, the, the decent amount of levels with them no matter what. That's, that's a fair compromise. Oh, everybody's gonna go after her now. Oh, but she's only taking one damage because she's got the amazing shield. So this is a perfectly fine battle. Um, you can see how, you know, it would have been possible for me to fight this battle with just Celica. She would have fought like the three enemies to the side uh, and then gone left and fought the wizard. She basically would have fought them in groups. That's how she would have done it. But you can see how that would have been lots slower than what we've got here. Wow, Est. That's great. Wow, those gargoyles are really giving her levels. I, um... She's probably got a holy weapon. That's gotta be it, right? Yep, holy spear. Okay, yep, she's got that. Okay. Wow, Kamui one-hit kills the shaman. Yeah. I don't know why I made Saber fight this zombie. That's... Oh! That's a decent amount of experience. What? No way. Okay, well, since S does so well against those gargoyle enemies, and because they seem to prefer fighting her, let's just throw her here, and that way she'll fight lots of gargoyles, and get lots of level ups, maybe. Yeah, uh, alright, okay, S is the one we got in the previous video. Yeah, that's why she's not as strong as her sister, Katria. That's why she's getting... That's that's why she's getting so many uh, experience points from these enemies. Okay, there is a logical reason. Good. So I don't remember if there are any characters I can recruit in this chapter or not. I'm just totally blanking on that information. Oh, really? The sniper stands right in front of Est, so the gargoyles can't attack her? That's not fair. Like, I specifically set it up so she would 
be fighting gargoyles. Oh well. Next turn, I guess. Good, and Jesse kills this gargoyle. Yeah, gargoyles seem to be pretty decent experience for everyone. That's cool. Okay, now the zombies are going to attack once once the gargoyles are done. Yeah, Jesse should level up here. Or not, I don't know what the gargoyles are thinking. I not gargoyles, zombies. Okay, whatever. Celica, you can kill the shaman, get rid of all those zombies. And level up, and level up. Defense, I like it. That's always a good level up. Let's see. Put S tier on the dodging tile. Have my other characters finish off the sniper. this battle so far. I wonder if Kamui has a holy sword or if she's just really, really strong. No, she's got a holy sword. Okay. That's a ton of experience. That's a ton of experience. And he's got great stats. Now look, he's gonna get into 20 defense pretty soon. Would be nice if he had 20 power. That's a boss, it's got its own name and picture. It's a boss, it's a boss. Okay, let's see what these gargoyles do. Are they all going after Est's like I expected? Yes, beautiful. So yeah, this would be a good place for me, you know, just to, you know, have the boss summon unlimited gargoyles, have everybody level up on gargoyles. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not doing that. This battle's been kind of long enough. It's like 18 minutes. Ooh, no, dodging gargoyles. Yep, Est is now a great Pegasus Knight. <laughs> One gargoyle avoids Est for reasons unknown. Okay, let's be nice. Let's give the Angel Ring to Saber, so Saber, when Saber levels up on this gargoyle, it will be a great level up. Wow, almost leveled up on that gargoyle, okay. And then let's get our other characters somewhat close to the boss. Actually, they can stand right next to the boss. This is a shaman, no need to worry. All right, let's see what this uh, gargoyle does. Defense up to, yes, okay, so, that's beautiful. Let's give the angel ring back to Celica. 
Hopefully Celica will be able to uh, defeat the boss. Hopefully she will get there in time. I don't know. Looks like it's going to take like three turns in order to reach the, the boss and... Kamui beats the boss in one turn. Oh well. Didn't even have to worry. Okay, so next we've got the Bog Graveyard. It looks like this is gonna be a randomized battle. Are those mummies or zombies? Somebody tell me those are mummies, because that would be good news for Celica. They're mummies. Oh my gosh. So, tell you what, um, let's just have everybody l go away. Yeah, 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 I'm just gonna leave Salika here. She can fight all these mummies on her own, get tons of experience that way. And yeah, that should be it. Yeah, this is great. This is, this is good news. She should be able to level up, like, no doubt, level up on this. This is beautiful. Yes. I wonder if this is a battle that you can repeat. Because all the graveyard battles we've had so far in Celica's, uh, Celica's portions, they have been graveyards where you can, uh, you know, basically go go to them multiple times. So, I mean, if this is always a mummy battle, that would be great. That might even be worth, like, going back and forth multiple times and leveling up leveling up Salica. Actually, that would probably be worth it, because this would be an amazing place to level up any character. Yeah, okay, I found a great place to level up everyone. That's good. Because in the previous video, leveling up all of Salica's party was long and torturous and awful. But now that's gonna change. I found the mummy battle. Hopefully these characters are far away enough that the mummies won't go after them. I'm gonna move them one more turn. I'm probably just being extra safe here. But yeah, okay, I mean, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you'll see, you'll see what these mummies are like. Not this turn, but next turn, apparently. <laughs> you'll see why I'm so excited to get Celica all these level ups. She does have the angel ring, right? She did trade. She traded for the angel ring. She's good. Yeah, Jesse was the only one that was kind of in the way, and now he's not. Okay. Let's see. This is just gonna take a while for all the uh, for all the zom not zombies mummies to attack Salika. Salika defeats a zombie in one turn. Doesn't even have to try 52 experience points. So how many mummies are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe even eight. So that'd be four level ups guaranteed to any character. can see why I think this is pretty nice. This is more than pretty nice. This is amazing. Four level ups to Celica. That basically takes her to the end point, really. <laughs> no, no, no. She'd, she'd have to do this battle twice in order to get to the end point. Okay. Yeah, she'd have to she'd have to do this twice in order. Uh, three times. I don't know. We'll see. It depends on if she keeps getting so much crazy good experience from any mummy. Oh, that works too. Yeah, the not killing mummies also gives me a ton of experience. Oh, that's a lot harder to do because. Zalika just destroys mummies. She is a mummy destroyer. Power up, HP up. Oh, 
I'm still gonna go for it. I'm still gonna try the, uh... Try using lightning to see if I could, like, uh, wound the zombies but not... Wound the mummies but not kill them. You know, try for it might as well, because that gives me a ton of EXP, but it looks like it's not happening. So, oh well. That lightning spell is, uh, less... Less effective than others. I mean, I guess that's the point, maybe. It's like, hey, it does a lot more damage, but it's uh, also harder to control because it's, it's attacking from a long distance. I don't know, it'd be interesting to see the statistics on that. I don't know what the stats are for that. Like, I don't know, you're 12% more likely to miss with lightning. Corsalic is almost at the point where if she does an attack with lightning, uh, it's an automatic destructo kill. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm going to do that battle again. I, I'm so doing this again. Are you crazy? I am getting this mummy battle again with Celica. Thank you. I'm not going to do it again with every character. I'm just going to do it again here with Celica. Same sort of thing, move everybody out of the way. Yeah, no, this is so good, I might... It, in between videos, I might just do this battle with everyone. Uh, I would be torturously slow to force people to watch me do this battle over and over and over again with every single character. Although it would be great for getting every single character to level 20. I mean, even on, even on fast forward mode, that would take a while, so how long is this going to take? This is going to take, like, at least five minutes just for Celica. Mm, might not be as bad with the uh, Pegasus sisters. They could probably... Yeah, because they can hunt down these enemies. Same with Kamui. K not really. Kamui travels farther than anyone else on this... Uh, uh, on the Swamp Goo. Yes, but... Kamui's not traveling that far enough to make a huge difference. Alright, let's go! Let's see this! That enemy goes up? Yes, it does. Okay. Everybody else should be far away enough that they will not pose any threat to my plans. Okay, and I'm going to use lightning here, because like I said, lightning doesn't work as well as the others. <laughs> That's not going to happen, is it? Salika's just too amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> She's just too amazing. Yeah, so much for getting the extra, like, 20 experience points for wounding but not killing a zombie. Sorry, mummy. I keep calling them zombies because I'm so used to fighting zombies at this point. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's just really, really hard for Celica not to kill one of these mummies on a single turn. Which is good, that's a nice problem to have.
power up. Yeah, <laughs> now she's gonna be at the point where like one hit with uh, lightning is an automatic kill, right? Let's see, I think the next person I would want to level up would be um, the Pegasus Sisters. They're pretty useful uh, on account of they can travel super far by themselves. Especially in a situation like this where it's just swamp goo everywhere. Let's just try fire, I'll see if that works. Yep. It'd be silly to think that wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, so this would be a case where, oh gosh, if Celica missed. She she would be guaranteed to level up when she actually kills this enemy. Let's see, let's see if we can force a miss here. We did it. Oh no, no, that was a double miss. Oh gosh, really? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you you saw, you saw dragons. I did not sign up for dragons. Okay, so we've got wandering groups of enemies here, and uh, they're called dragons. They're dragons. Um, so that's how the game prevents me from doing everything in the dread swamp. Okay, okay. Well, I should have gone forward and killed that enemy rather than fought this battle over and over and over again. Those are not zombies. Those are not mummies. Mummies, sorry, mummies. Those are dragons. I guess this will be a preview of what that wandering group of dragons looks like. <laughs> I don't know. This, this could be bad. Let's see. Are these full-blown dragons, or are these weaker dragons? Weaker dragons, please. Weaker dragons, thank you. Oh, it doesn't even try to go after Celico. What? Those are not weaker dragons. Those are definitely strong dragons. All right, let's have Celica kill one. You know, she can almost kill a dragon. Okay, level 20, and she's maxed out. She can't get any more experience. Okay, S should actually do pretty well against these enemies, because she's got the holy... Yeah, she's got the holy sword. Come on, let's see what you can do. Yeah. Okay, so it's not always... It's not always mummies. Sometimes it's dragons. Notice I cleverly put Jesse on the dodging tile. Pretty clever move on my part, I'd like to think. Probably more of an obvious move. Okay, let's get this angel ring. Onto Est. She's the weaker Pegasus sister, I believe. And now she's probably not the weaker Pegasus sister. Okay, and here we go, dragons. Let's see how many dragons we've got. Oh, wow, everybody's spread apart. Hmm, okay. Who. Who attacks first? I bet it's the dragons. Yep, because they were the ones who 
walked into this battle. Well, maybe one of them will go after Est instead of all of them going after Saber. Yes, please be asked. That's Katria, isn't it? No, it's not. Yay! Mm, not sure how to handle this. Let's see, I'll move S here. And then just like continually try to move Saber closer to S. S will probably, because she gets like 30 from these enemies, right? Oh, never mind. These dragons have a mind of their own. They're not falling for any of my tricks. Wow, really? They like, they like Kamui that much? But she's just utterly destroying them. Why, why are they going after her? Let's just have Est, Est and this dragon just fight each other all day long. Let's see what stats are like. No, Est is better than Katria. Well, now she is. Um, Jesse needs way more experience. Oh, that's why the enemies went after Kamui. Uh, I mean, Jesse needs defense, and so does Kamui. Okay, you have 15 defense. How much damage are you taking from a dragon, Est? Let's see. Just one. Okay, so she's good. Others, maybe not so much. And I totally forgot to... Uh... Oh, wait. That was Katria with... The defense shield. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Katri and Jesse, you could just avoid this next battle. Um, yeah, because this next battle is going to be all dragons, right? If dragons are coming from here. I'm not sure. Let's. Okay, where's that healing item? The prayer ring. Somebody went back and stole the prayer ring from. Uh, that's really creepy that they stole the prayer ring. Let's put the regal sword on Celica. Oh, come on. She should be able to use it. She's she's the lost princess. Come on. Lost princesses should be able to use regal swords. 